Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working, guys, on a Chevy Cruze and we'll show you how to calibrate or reset your steering angle sensor. Let's say you had a phone and alignment done or you installed a new sensor and now you have traction control light on uh, and you have a code related to a steering angle sensor not calibrated. Stay with us, guys, and we'll show you how to calibrate and how to reset it. Quick introduction. We'll guys have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, guys, and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you will find the information helpful. If you want to see, guys, all the tools and parts that we use, and for a good price that we get them, guys, check out the link in the description of the video below as well. So, let me explain what we will be doing and how we are going to reset the steering angle sensor on that Chevy Cruze now, which is a not very complicated procedure at all, guys. With the right equipment, it takes just a couple of minutes. So, what we are going to do, we will open the door, and now I'm going to go ahead and I will find the OBD connector. Okay, OBD connector is right there. Pour that scanner in. Okay, let it light up. Let me just get, okay. I'm going to grab a screwdriver quick, guys, because you don't have to do that. I want to lock the door so it doesn't actually beep at us the whole time we're making the video. Because I'll have the door open so I can fit with, with the camera inside and all the cables. Now, one thing that you need to do, guys, okay. You need to go ahead and turn your steering wheel to be perfectly straight. Okay, another thing. You need to, guys, make sure that the car is parked on leveled ground. Okay, steering wheel is perfectly straight now. Okay. I think right there. Perfect. Now, this is, guys, a scanner and it works for so many things. You can, guys, do... Uh, you can read uh, your um, codes from the engine computer, the lead codes, see live data. You can uh, see codes and delete codes from the ABS uh, system, traction control system and airbag system. You can register batteries on cars. You can see how many functions that thing supports. We have the link in the description of the video below. We'll go to SAS, steering angle sensor. Select that one. Now, introduction to the function, it's going to say here, okay, let me show you. To reset the steering angle sensor, first find the relative zero point position for the car to drive in straight line. Take this position as reference, okay, and it, it explains everything. After replacing steering angle sensor position, steering angle position sensor, replacing steering mechanical parts such as steering gearbox, uh, tie rod or steering knuckle guys perform four wheel alignment or and after that reset the steering angle sensor. So. Now, we're going to select choose vehicle, right here, and we're going to select uh, USA, because that Chevy Cruze is in USA, General Motors, we select 2015, passenger car guys, and we select Chevy, right there, and next we select Cruise, perfect. Power steering control module or electric brake control module, so we go to power steering, I think it was there. Switch on ignition. Okay, ignition is on. Okay. It's establishing communication. So, no, we need to probably go back. Power steering soft stops warm. Power steering, steering soft stops reset. Let me go back and see where it was exactly. Switch on. It gives you quite a few options, guys. Okay, right here. Steering wheel angle sensor warm. Click enter. Align the front wheel straight and center the wheel. Okay, ours is the wheels are pointing straight and the steering wheel is pointing straight. Now we're going to click OK. Perfect. Establishing communication. Please wait for 3, 2, 1. Test has been successful. Okay, so you can see that we have uh, the service track control and all that stuff beeping because it already did that. So as you can see guys, that's how we reset the steering angle sensor on Chevy Cruze. Pretty simple guys. So uh, hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you uh, having guys to do anything like that. If you actually go back, you can actually see quite a few things. Okay, let me show you quick now. Make sure you stay guys. Something very helpful. If you guys go, okay, to the ABS and SRS. Okay, and we're going to select again our vehicle here. 
Oh, come on, I clicked the wrong one. So let me go back and we need to select Chevy, General Motors. Okay, it's loading the data now. So I'll just go ahead and start from the beginning so it doesn't get confused. Okay, right there, USA, General Motors. Then we're going to select guys. Okay, 2015, passenger car, Chevy, cruise guys. Okay, and now it's, we're going to go to control units. We'll select electronic brake control unit. That's the traction control. It's initializing and we can guys see live data and you can check your steering angle sensor there as well. Okay, it's initializing. So data display let me see if we can see it through here okay this is for the different wheels steering angle sensor zero degrees guys okay right here zero degrees so if i turn the steering wheel to the left watch now how it's working 14 degrees turn it more now i go to the right okay and you can see guys how it tells us okay if the steering wheel is working or not the sensor so right now ours i'll bring it to you okay to the center zero degrees right there so that's how you guys do it thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time